I'm James Winnie, and here is your morning market brief. We first begin overseas with the major Asian Pacific markets, for the most part trading mixed overnight. Japan's Nikkei 225 index that was on the upside, 0.9 percent. This following a historic 7.3 percent plunge the day before. Meanwhile, Hong Kong's Hang Seng index that was in negative territory, 0.6 percent, and the Shanghai Composite that rose 0.2 percent. Meanwhile, markets in Europe this morning they are in the red across the board. This time led by the Spanish IBEX. 35 taking the biggest hit. And over here in the United States, stock futures were pointing towards a lower open after the both of Dow Jones right now in negative territory about 91 points. Now in the Forex markets, we first begin after another rough week. The Australian dollar has lost nearly 7% of its total value this month against the greenback. The Aussie has continued to come under pressure on continued concerns over the health of the Chinese economy. Meanwhile, in Europe, the final estimate for German GDP, that confirmed that, German, that Germany's economy expanded only 0.1 percent in the first quarter. However, that was in line with expectations. And June German Consumer Confidence Surveys, that index unexpectedly rose to 6.5 from 6.2 in May, marking its highest level in nearly five and a half years. And in the United States, April Durable Goods orders revealed that total orders, they rose 3.3 percent in April, this after contracting 5.9 percent in March. Economists were only expecting a one and a half percent expansion. And then corporate news. Reuters reports that Google is now facing an antitrust probe by the U.S. regulators into its advertising business. According to the source for the story, firms have accused Google of leveraging some of its most popular double-click products, such as the ad managing system, which, had, which has an estimated 80 percent of the market. This in order to push websites to use other products, including ad exchange, where websites swap their ads.